A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. Beast the next set is hanging out of a journal. An eye color change of eye version, but. I fucking. I don't understand your musical Get Weezer, it makes sense. Here's what I have to explain. The. Um. Recessive color comes out. Living. My sister has, like. Oh yeah. We we were we were in memory. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I'm Jackie. Why is the disc? Oh hell no! Oh no! Mayor of Sanity has joined the lobby. Fair. Well, my mother and my sister are kind of. Ah. Oh, my mother and sister. It's more of an intimidation. Like they get a more intimidating color because holding, 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 like holding, 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 like, I actually hate clowns. You fucking disgusting. <laughs> God. Ew. <laughs> Ew. No. Absolutely not. Brother, ew. Me, What's that? Me, Brother, ew. Excuse me, Blue. A blue thunder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have a question for you. <laughs> what? Have you ever tried beans on toast before? Beans, beans on, on toast? On toast? <laughs> yeah, beans no. on toast. Uh, I think you heard it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That sounds disgusting. Uh, no. Have you... Uh, uh, wait. Have you, um... Do you watch Curry Kinchen? Yes, actually, yeah. I don't know, I don't know something about Bruce from, from Curry Kinchen. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby.
Uh, and it no, was like, uh, yeah, something like that. Either I spin the yeah, no. the board said, <laughs> yeah. um, drink if you used to have a crush on anyone here. And I was like, I can't lie. And I took hey, a drink. Jews. And then, it, you know, <laughs> my buddy, you know, sitting oh, next to me, he oh, was shit. like, shit, you good? <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, her cheeks said. Okay. Spin, cheeks. Or she said. Cheeks, she said. Um, Fuck you. It's gonna be real. Sorry. A VIP <laughs> plus she member said, has joined the lobby. Seashells bound by the seashore. What? What? See? What? I didn't mean. I didn't mean for that to yeah, come out. Fuck you, cheeks, bitch. Just kidding. <laughs> what? No, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. yeah, no Wait, joke. What? Oh, what? Tip? So Cheeks was like, Cheeks. Drunk. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. Cheeks said to spill the tea, for lack of better words. And I was like, well, what? I used to be head oh over goodness. heels for uh, Abel over here. I and then. You said someone else. I, I'm definitely an help? old fuck. I'm sorry, go on. Keep. Look, you have the fucking door open. Chicks, are you sure you're sober? Yes, I'm just distracted a lot right now because there's shit going on Recharge. in my house right now. Anyways. <laughs> okay, anyways. Don't, don't mind me. I'm sorry. What? I apologize. No need to apologize for anything. No need to apologize. Yes, but I don't want to eat. I don't like food. I just want to get drunk as fuck. And forget about everything that just happened. Drunk as fuck, gang. Drunk as fuck, gang. Who is drinking? What? Drink? Who wants a drink? I know. Shot? Who wants a shot? I... <coughs> I know that you're gonna make ramen and I'm gonna shot. want your food. Shot. So yes, shot. make me some ramen, please, That's and thank you. she said. Okay, anyways. So... Cheeks was like, oh, spill the tea. So I was like, well, I used to be like head over heels for Abel over here, right? And then Abel, apparently, he never knew about this. A VIP plus member has joined the lobby. And we just and we just go into fucking like voice chat and we just chat.
love the music, but it's kind of boring. Oh my god! You're actually <laughs> retarded. Oh no. Right. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. That was a lot. I fucking hate shitty. I think shitty is the most boring game in VR chat. Do you pay for this one? I don't disagree with this, but it's the one that's low. Nobody's doing that, so no. Yeah, so better than anything else. For the game that I just taught you, it's literally this easy. Red or black, you throw it down. Black. Okay, how do you red or black? It's a different thing, but it's just like this. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. interesting going on here <laughs> skipping drinking night tonight <laughs> oh. Why? I mean I'm not skipping drinking I just don't want to go to that fucking cesspool <laughs> uh, that's all good it's all, it's all good you okay yeah uh -uh, I'm good if you're drinking really? I assume you're, you're drinking little. Cheers. Yes, Cheers. I am. As you can tell, I am very drunk. But yeah, you're looking Cheers. all wobbly. Cheers. 
I'm always wobbly I'm sure when I'm drunk. Expecting me to be in a drinking night. Sorry, I, I saw it. I was like, I feel like you probably wouldn't when I come here, but I was like, you know, I'll say hi anyways. Cause you're really to chill. Be, so. To be honest, I was just about to click invite you to a drinking night work. Then all of a sudden, boop! I see you invite me, and like, oh. <laughs> It's all good. I, mean, I don't care. As long as I'm drunk and happy. Um, by the way, I'm also recording for my YouTube channel. But I'm just... Oh! Me thank drunk. you for letting me know. Because I get a little stressed when people don't. I could okay. care too. I could, I could care less. I just like being informed. <laughs> same. same. I, 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 I want to be up front with everyone. I don't want to be like... No be weird hide things whatever i just want to be up front you know it's a tourist trait yeah i respect that i'm a tourist too i know i know <laughs> we're real tourists oh we had this conversation Tor tourists is thinking <laughs> like tourists is thinking like <laughs> very true it's funny because i i know astrology is kind of silly but at the same time it's not but i think the people who are most like their Bingo. astrological signs were really into it at one point Bingo. because yeah. you like you like the traits that you learn about your sign and like you kind of adopt like it just becomes you well, and i love all the traits of tauruses <laughs> even well, the bad ones <laughs> yeah you, you, I'm, I'm sorry i'm afraid of. um you get to look at the zodiac in different angles like i agree with you totally you know at from for me when i was looking up you know what a taurus is and I, I put my you know got my chart it's like like it's pretty much spot on you know mm. you know taurus is very stubborn but they're loyal they're kind generous and like when i see you know, I got to do a reading or something like that. And I say, okay, this really does everything that me fits into certain aspects. Like, it's like, it's fun. I feel like that. This is the way I am. You know. And, you know, if you look at different, you know, you know Leo, Sagittarius, and some of them, if you really, you could tell the personality of someone, you know, like, really, like. I <sighs> It's cool. I like uh, yeah, yeah. one thing that people don't ever like know. Like people think of Tauruses, and they always think like stubborn and like down to earth. Oh, but there's a true. side of the Taurus yeah. that I really like, and I quite embrace. So the mantra of of the Taurus is "I have." Like every zodiac sign has a different like quote unquote. Like, I don't know if mantra is the term, but that's what it's. I have, and um, they're known to be very indulgent. So like. Tauruses mm. love to indulge in all things. Like they tend to like really love food. They love to cook. They love to drink. Like <laughs> they like to have fun. Like for a big stubborn sign, but also like just indulging without shame. I am so like I am such a little glutton when it comes to like things I enjoy. <laughs> the standard, because I agree. At Taurus, they like we we like uh, repetitiveness. You know. Things that, you know, routine. routine, routine, exactly, routine, you know, if it's a routine, we're happy, you know, X, Y, Z every day, X, Y, Z, etc. makes us happy, no matter if it's the simplest thing, the most difficult thing that makes us happy, you know, granted, yes, I agree. may all be autistic, <laughs> I know I am, <laughs> good, anal good analogy, yes, maybe autistic, or some <laughs> aspect of autism you know not being autistic but just having similar mannerisms or something who knows you know yeah <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're so wobbly <laughs> i'm actually standing too i, I don't feel body right now i'm actually standing i can tell <laughs> i can tell <laughs> it's funny because the way that you're kind of wobbling cause I know. you look like yeah. you have high heels on and like that's how I stand when I'm wearing high heels sober yeah. <laughs> I, I had some I don't rum. wear high heels ever not, not captain oh. I had some rum earlier but you know little captain to me just kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do it because I, I don't yeah. have knees but I'm doing it in real life you can't yeah. tell <laughs> I don't have knees that's a weird thing to say <laughs> uh, that's not good 
Have you just been wandering worlds yes. tonight? Yes, yes, yeah. How, how, what's new with you? How, how have you been? What's new? Oh, gosh, a lot. I mean, I've been, I just recently started back at, like, Amazon again, and I'm working to get this other job that's, like, if I get it, it's going to be a pretty big deal for me. Nice. Like it's, Same. Uh, I started yeah. a new job, too. I'm, I'm a month in my new job now, so. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. How's it going? I'm learning a lot. You know, it's it's a good company. It's it's though it's through a ten agency. I'm mm -hmm. equal. It's same about, it's about the same pay as my previous job. Uh, uh, my lead is very chill. We we think alike. Me and him think alike. You know, we like a Taurus. We not over analyze. We think outside of the box when it comes to tech. Me and both him, me and him click. It's like. You know, oh, it could it be this, 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 this? Then we we come up with a solution like, oh, it could be that, and like, you know, that kind of thing. You know, it's, that's great. It's with an aerospace company, and right now I'm Ooh, I like it. I like it. You know, I do IT. I'm an IT guy. I'm a computer guy. So I know, yeah, but it's good. You know, that's cool. Um, yeah. So you're going back to yeah, just you're working like a lot a, about. Just, just to get by, I'm, do, I'm doing overnights for like 410, so it's nice to get like three-day weekends. But funny enough, the job that I'm going for, it's it's just an administrative like front desk job for this graphic packaging. Like the people, it's the company that makes like packaging for like a lot of really well-known like cereals and other brands and things. Uline, something, like something like Uline. <laughs> Kind of, but it's yeah, it's a, yeah. just a smaller company, but they make some pretty. That's but cool. um, it would it would be like an administrative job. And funny I've enough, I yeah. I worked for them a couple times through a temp agency. Just like mm -hmm. a couple days, I needed a front desk person, and then they uh, recently they specific. It's the this job is an hour away, and they specifically called the temp agency to request me to come work one day. Mm -hmm. like, I guess they really liked me. And when I went there, just like, cause it's a really small town mm -hmm. that it's in and okay. the, the unemployment rate is so low there that like nobody's applying for this position, but they're like the highest paying company in the town. Yeah. Um, but they, they too. specifically yeah. asked for me. Yeah. And they just kept saying, they were like, we like, you should apply for this job. And I was like, I'm an hour away. And they're like, well, I mean, these are the pay and the benefits. And like, I've never gotten paid that much in my life. So I was like, okay, I'm going to apply. So I did. And I got like an interview and they're like, I'm going through the process, but like, they yeah, want me, yeah. so it's like that's different. That's a company that specifically wants me. I'm not like fighting to uh -huh, uh -huh. go there, so yeah. it's nice. And I would be in charge of like the hiring and finding people, but I'd also get like you know, yeah, desk, get the front desk person. I've been, I did that too. <laughs> um, like 2000, like my, after I graduated high school, um, I did like I was like a jack of all trades, but I did like you know, answering phones. Uh, receptionist, shipping, receiving in the mail, distributing. So I've been there and kind of like that type of job, office administrator, you know. Then one of my other jobs, too, mm -hmm. was that same thing, you know, helping with accounting, you know, filing away, you know, invoices or, you know, ordering, you know, toner, ordering this and that. I mean, I've been in that, you know, situation, too. It is a very interesting job. It gives you experience, you know. It's a good, you know, for starters, you know. Who knows, you know. So. Yeah, well, I mean, I have a lot of experience in that already. I used to be, um, like, an executive, like, virtual assistant for some pretty big people. I signed NDA, Ooh, so I'm not nice. going to say. But, yeah. like, I yeah, I, I did that for a long time. Office. Yeah, yes. for a company. But um, it was, like, an AI on-demand uh, virtual assisting company. So there was some AI tech. But it, it was a little before its time because this was, like, maybe like five or six, seven-ish years ago. Um, and they ended up, because they were developing their own in-house technology, whatever, and they decided that the service itself wasn't really worth the effort because it was like a combination of like human and AI. So they decided to focus more on the technology and like okay. sell that as a product to other companies. So they shut down after like three years and that sucked because I really liked that job. And then I was never able to get back to it and I've just been doing like, manual labor the last years which i can do no biggie you know yeah. i worked in forestry for three years and all that i don't mind it but uh, i'm 34 that. like i'm tired <laughs> like and right. i don't want to just be like a grunt number yeah. like there's nothing there's no shame in it amazon pays really well 
It's just like, I'm tired. Like, <laughs> and this job, I, it would be just my job. No one else would be doing my job. So, like, I would be important. Hey, same here. I, I've done the like, same thing. I, I've worked warehouse before, and it is a challenging job and is very uh, intensive, you know. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. loading, like, pallet loads of, like, car parts and other stuff, you know. Or loading, you know, unloading a big giant container truck full of like several thousand boxes. I've been there and done that, you know. You know, it it, it was learning experience. But this is many years ago. You yeah, know. I mean, but it still. can be fun, and you get to work with a lot of people from different places because, like, oh, yeah. Amazon oh, in yeah. particular oh, is very is diverse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so I'm meeting exactly. people from countries I never. It's so cool. Like I work with people from like. Haiti is in Nigeria and like Africa and all different places in Asia and it's so cool and like you know like it just how they ended up here in the middle of the Midwest <laughs> I'll never understand but <laughs> I, I sometimes I'm just like how, how did you end up here and they're just like apparently it's just know you know the there's a lot of work there's not a lot of people uh, yeah I, I, it's I, so cool though I, no offense but no, I'm still recording but no offense to all the people watching but I remember when I was working in that warehouse job this is 2015 uh, I don't forget what year it was and working in the warehouse you know I, I met people from, you know Hispanic people you know, they're very cool and the guys speak decently good English you know cool you know he's a very nice guy he has a family you know other people they're very cool and, and like I don't know he used to say bueno which is good in Spanish a lot mm-hmm. he says you know you got this done okay bueno good you got that done bueno you got this done bueno or he said bueno a lot and I don't know why I I don't know sure why it was just a spare of the moment stupid thing, you know those red uh, dollies, you could get that U line wherever, they're most common in warehouses. Oh my god, I had no idea why I did it. You know, no offense, you know, not being mean, but I grabbed that freaking, <laughs> and I just took a big sharpie and went bueno 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 down the freaking center of it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone who grabs that dolly will say bueno good, which is good 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 it was it was just a spur of the moment this is like 10 plus years ago I'm like this is so fun <laughs> I bet he got a laugh out of it though Pro- probably <laughs> so- that'd be kind of interesting I go back to that, that office hey what's up and I go find that dolly you'll probably still say bueno but <laughs> I don't know. It's been it's been many years <laughs> since I got that, that job, uh, but it's all good. You know, it's all good learning experiences. So, so. It is. I I do enjoy. It. Like it makes me feel good to do the work. Like obviously, like, I get off work and I'm like, do I feel gross? And like everything hurts, but doing the work feels good. Yeah. I I mean I. Typical good tourist trip. I'm a very I, tiny person. I, no, and like, accomplishment. But I can lift yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because before I think I don't know if it was the last time I saw you, but. I was working at a a pork a pork processing plant like a um pork factory. I don't factory. recall. Maybe uh, I don't um, recall it, but okay. But that was more strenuous, honestly, because um, like I'm sitting in a line and there's just meat coming, and I had like a meat hook, and I had to sit at the top of the line where like giant pig thighs were coming through, and I had to like <laughs> take it, like it would drop, and then I had to drag it onto the line and uh, stuff, but. I also built like combo uh, cardboard boxes, and um, we had these big rolls with like sheets on them. I don't know how to explain it, but they were big, and we would have to like pick them up and like come bring them and put them on a bar. And like where I worked, I was the only quote unquote woman there. Everyone else was in that department. It was like all men because it was like I don't know. That's just how it worked out. But okay, I worked okay. with this really nice guy from. Uh, Hawaii or something. He was like, Ooh. he was smaller than me and he weighed less than me, but he was like 65 and he'd been there for like 20 years. He's a great guy. It was just me and him building combos every day, but he would never let me like go pick up the role because, you know, that's just their culture, like the whole, like he wasn't trying to be, you know, misogynistic. It's just like, he just didn't want me to get hurt and I totally get it, even though I am normally I get pretty intense if people try to stop me from doing things. Like that. But one day he wasn't around and the role ran out and I was like, I'm going to go. I'm gonna go grab the roll like he would get he'll get so mad if he sees me but i did (laughs) it's like this huge roll of like plastic wrap and i'm just like 
hoisted up. Over, I'm I'm five four, and I like hoisted up over my shoulder, and I'm like walking over like no biggie, and I just hear, "What are you doing?" And I'm just like, "What?" And he like runs over. He's like, "No, no, no, you're gonna hurt." And I'm like, "It's okay, it's okay." And he like takes it, and like all the guys are like. No, oh, you can't pick that. And I was like, it's fine. Like, I'm I'm carrying it. And he's just like, that weighs over 150 pounds. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. the thing is, you don't, you don't have to be, you don't have to be strong to pick up things like that if you know how to do it properly. But I'm just like this little, and I'm like carrying it like a freaking worker ant. And they're just like <laughs> freaking out because I'm going to hurt my, and I'm like, I, it's fine. And he's like, never do that again. And I was like, okay. He's a nice guy. Yeah, I could tell he had kids. Like, he was very, like, daddish. Yeah. Like, you know, like, if they saw yeah. me try, it was kind of funny. Like, I, I wanted to be offended, but I couldn't be offended because I know it's just, like, their culture and, like, they, it came from a good place. But it's like, you don't have to be strong to pick up heavy things. It's all about <laughs> yeah. leverage. And exactly. I am built like a bull in terms of my shoulders. Like, <laughs> I'm a well, sturdy you... little thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like, what's it called? The car guy on E team, the Cletus McFarlane. America, you know. America, you can do it. You can lift it. America. You got the muscle? America. Or like the, yes, we can. You know, that lady. But <laughs> and I was taught that in forestry because I was like, when I was younger, I was like, I don't know if I can lift this. And my crew leader was like, yes, you can. You just have to know how. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, all right. And he taught me. And it's like, oh. And I'm like, it's heavy. But I'm not trying to walk a mile with it. Like, I'm just mm -hmm. walking from point A to point B. Like, I can get it there. Like, you know, it was just funny. It was like, mm -hmm. But it, feel, it feels good when I do things like that. Yeah, same. <laughs> it makes I, me feel I, I, I like uh, completion, you know. I like to do something, complete it, and say, hey, this is and show like a higher up. I can do it, you know. I like the completion. Though it could be, mm -hmm. it's a 50-50. It could be bad and good, but it's a tip of a tourist tray. But, you know, if I don't complete it, you know, I'll, I'll think, I'll, think you know, X, I'll overthink it. You know, X, Y, Z, I could have done this better. I could have, yeah. you know, I could have done. Ooh, you won't what was know this? if you don't try. I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, you know. You know, like I know my limits too. Like I, I know how to test something out, and if I, if I really think I can't, like I'm not gonna hurt, like I'm not gonna risk hurting myself. Yeah. Like I know, yeah. like go or no go, you know. But most of the time, it's like I'm at least gonna try, and mm. then if I can't, mm -hmm. then I can't. That's all. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss working in forestry though. That was labor I liked to do because forest you know, forestry or. Yeah, forestry conservation, something called the California Conservation Courts. It's like a program uh, modeled after like the Civilian Conservation Court during the. I'm gonna geek out. I'm sorry. Wait, California, um, <laughs> California. Mm -hmm. I'm originally from California, so. Oh, that's right. Um, God, I live in so California currently. Yeah. Go work in the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to go. Do like cut trails. I did like fire. And uh, flood emergency response. I didn't fight fires, oh. so I just did camp support. Um, but yeah, like I went to Yosemite during the Rim Fire. I was mm. out there supporting the firefighters. Uh, many, I, I worked out there for like over a month. Many years ago, I went and did the uh, Orange County uh, CERT, C E R T, emergency preparedness uh, thing. So oh. I did that many years ago with a buddy of mine. So it's basically, you know, awesome. learning the basic, you know, putting up a, a splint, um, clearing a room for, you know, if there's a fire, uh, what's it called, cribbing, you know, when you're moving, lifting a fridge off someone with wood and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, I did that many, many, many years ago. Uh, I need to probably go do it again. That's but so cool. Unless I'm too old for it. I'm not sure they, there's an age limit on it, but it was fun to do it. Because and you could always find another course. Maybe, oh, uh, maybe. I, I, as long as or the Orange County, you know, maybe they could find something. I could find something I could do, and like, you know, who knows? But, but that was ready to go. So, you know, I think I still have the green helmet <laughs> somewhere. I got my <laughs> the little green helmet and the flashlight and everything, and the the uh, big giant highlighter green, you know, vest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I I. I want to do like I know they have like some big like, courses like you it's like a two day thing in California some place you can go out and like you just learn the basics of survive like building a shelter and like building a fire uh, without like yeah, yeah. you know without having 
technology and things and i was like i want to do living, that so yeah, bad like <laughs> living off the I, I i'm subscribed to a couple of youtube channels like that where they you know they own land you know this is midwest whatever and they just build like log cabins and they're like in the completely off grid you know solar power their own water supply their own everything like that would be kind of interesting to do you know if i had the money and you know land to do that i would do yeah. that you know that'd be cool to do you know it's funny how you have to have money to do things like that. Like, it's <laughs> interesting, isn't it? Depending. Kinda, yeah, I, yeah. I don't think it's irony, but yeah. yeah. I mean, you could just go into the woods and try, I guess. No, no, you're there, but. <laughs> true, true. But <laughs> That's how forest fires start. There's a risk. There's a risk. Because there was a YouTuber I met, I uh, saw online. He was given permission, theoretically, but then he, like, found like some public land built a cabin and all its own resources and everything then the city kicked him out yeah then they surprised. and they but he he after he cleared everything out he left it more cleaner than normal but then i think someone like, like a oh. while later reached out to him and said hey i have this land you, you could use it i give you permission and now he's redoing you know rebuilding everything this is this is years ago that you know that'd be cool you know yeah it's like it's it's it's, it's an interesting experience you know maybe one of these days i'll do something yeah. like that buy some land in like midwest somewhere and build a farm or build something you i know? think it's pretty cheap out here isn't it all depends cali is not but you know down in midwest no, central maybe maybe texas yeah or i know like i was i wanted to live I wanted to move to Montana for a long time. This was like mm -hmm. a decade ago that I was like plotting because like my dream is to have an alpaca ranch one day. And Ooh. I was like, <laughs> yeah, uh, things got in the way. But like land at the time, anyways, I haven't checked recently. But it was very cheap compared because I would compare it to California. I was in California at the time. I was like, maybe it just seemed a lot cheaper because everywhere is going to seem cheaper than California. Yeah. But um, <laughs> funny how that works Pretty out. Sure. But um. I was just like, I, I want so badly to have an alpaca farm that's also a cat rescue, and I'm only mm -hmm. going to employ people who have felonies because I want it to be second chance employment. And <laughs> it's going to be called Alpaca Cat. <laughs> yeah. There's mad respect for that. That is cool. That is cool. Mad respect. That, that's a good idea. You know, I do believe in second chances Thank you. too. You know. Yeah. yeah. No matter how bad the past is. I know a lot is, of good people. Good, they're good people. Who've made bad don't. mistakes. and mm -hmm. they People make mistakes. And they try to do good. Which is mm -hmm. very noble. And if you want to do that, that'd be cool. You know, Giving people second chances. Yeah. You know? Plus working with animals could be like therapeutic for them. For like whatever. I'm not going to lie. Some of that kiss was inspired by that old show. Pitbulls and parolees. I saw that when I was younger, and I was like, "That's so cool." Because mm. you know, pitbulls get a bad rap. People with a criminal record get a bad rap, which you know, understandable. But we all make mistakes. Like we're all doing this for the first mm. time, you know, living. So I, I like, remember seeing there was a, a documentary. Um, it was on um, uh, in prisons. And it was like, um, there was a prison that what they do is, uh, you know, for good behavior, um, what they would do, was they, they would give the inmate a rescue cat and they would, you know, feed yeah. it and take care of it. And they, you know, and, you know, maybe it helps them in the future, you know, maybe not, maybe, you know, it, it helps them regain their humanity, their, you know, life in general. And like maybe they get out earlier and they'll, they could take the cat with them or something and it helps them cope. It helps them. It changes them, you know, which is very, it's an interesting concept, you know, you know, do that with different, you know, types of people, you know, like maybe some people who are, you know, really bad to, you know, not really, you know, bad people. Who knows, you know, make it change it on dogs, birds, making different, different type of animals. And that might be something that you know, really it's changes very the world. Very therapeutic. Yeah. Animals yeah. are simple. They don't, they. As far as I know, animals don't have bad intentions. Mm -hmm. They just have needs, and yeah. if those needs exactly. are met, they're just so happy to be there with you. And a lot of people who end up in the system have just been hurt by other people. Mm -hmm. And humans, I think, I don't, seem to be really unique in that aspect that exactly. they will go out of the, their way to hurt others for no reason. Well, so I think, yeah, 
being with just animals yeah. it, it's so well, simple like they just love you and you love them and that's it well animals you know they are you know their own you know a mind of their own they have feelings they you know just like a human and they can uh really if you are with them for a long time you will notice that they become part of the family you know you 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 could read them no matter you know you can't talk you know of course you know animals can't talk but still it you know it's they can bond they can bond and over time you know when the cat you know whatever pet makes a certain gesture or sounds a certain way or acts a certain way the person will say oh they need this or you know it really yeah it's like kind of interesting you know for me you know I, I got a bird and my bird grew attached to me instantly you know you know every time i go to my parents house she just runs to me and says i love you and when, wants me to pick her up and pet her you know so oh you know, so yeah my daughter's a baby so but yeah you know animals any kind of animal can grow attached you know it's very i mean look at crows i yeah. i want so badly to befriend crows <laughs> i seen, love that people can do that i've seen videos on that like Someone like rescue, someone rescues a crow, you know, nurses them back to health, and like later on, the crow comes back, and like, you know, you know, because they grew attached, you know, they helped, you know, they have emotions, they, they give have little, feelings. little shinies, yeah, they have emotions. A they long time feelings. ago, yeah. well, actually, just a few years ago, I am, um, and I won't get into it, but I admitted no, no. myself to um, a mental hospital. Just to help myself and there was this psychiatrist lady and she was the coolest psychiatrist but um i would meet with her in this room and there was a window it was like a yard outside and it was really but every time i would go to meet with her there were these crows that would like come out to the window and she'd be like oh those are just my crows and like they would come to the window because she was there and they and she'd be like hello and then like it was in my room and like there were times when i wasn't meeting with her and i would see her out in the yard and she would just be feeding the crows and, like they knew her they they have the uh, ability for facial recognition and she was the only uh psychiatrist or, uh, that i ever trusted because like she like literally had like this for like every time we met the birds would come to the window like no no joke and it was just so interesting like they knew her and she was just a very cool person <laughs> she told me about she... that even though they're probably you know older but the birds they they see your psychiatrist as mom the person who rescued them the person who helped them and they can take care of them yeah and, exactly mm -hmm. yeah, they come she back said she'd been they, feeding them for like a year mm -hmm. and i would just see her sitting out there with these wild crows and they're just like all <laughs> around her and i'm like what mm -hmm. the heck like, that's so cool not that I distrust mental health professionals, but it's hard to connect with them. Like you have to find, and I really just, I trusted her right off the bat from there. I was like, if, if you can bond with animals, like you are a genuine person I can trust. Like, I like that. <laughs> that's a, that's a typical Taurus trait. You, we we mm -hmm. trust very easily. We trust a lot, you know, a lot of people, friends, non-friends are, we put a lot of trust in people. Curse and a blessing. Yeah. It's a curse and a blessing. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> but you learn after a while that even if like I will put my trust in a lot of people but always yeah, with the thing in the back of my head that I am yeah. mentally prepared if this was a mistake and that's okay I didn't used to be it used to destroy me and now I'm like it depends if it, on if the it, person if it goes wrong it's okay yeah it depends on yeah. the person you know because you learn course, to just... Yeah, but remember, Taurus are very stubborn. So, and for me, I'm too stubborn. You know, I agree with you, and I'm like, but like, you know, my stubbornness is like blocking me from you know X Y Z, whatever. But still, you know, whatever. It's hard to let go. It is. I saw this it quote recently that I really liked, and it said it had like a pretty flower on it and stuff. But the mm -hmm. picture it helped. But the quote was, um, "Let go or be dragged." Go or be dragged. And mm. I don't know why, but it was very impactful. And since I read that like a week ago, it, I don't know why. It just changed something in my head. And I was like, let go or be dragged. And 
all of a sudden, I achieved the power of boundaries. <laughs> and I just started cutting out toxic people that I didn't need. Like, not in a mean way. I just like, I don't really need you. I love you to death, and I'm so happy that I had time with you. But every time, you know, you are no longer, like, you are just hurting me more than you're helping me. Goodbye. Have a good life. Not in a mean way, though. Like, it felt good. It wasn't like a negative, like, oh, you're gone. Screw you. I was just like, I'm going to let you go now. Like, thank you I... for all the good memories, but it... time to move on. <laughs> That's exactly, you know, what happened to me. You know, my, that friend who hurt me. Like, however, I do agree with you. You know, I had to cut it off because it was hurting me, you know, kind of thing. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. I see where you're coming from. That, and I, I and then I totally agree with that. You know, cutting out you know toxic people. Yeah. You know, because it, you know, it's so basically if you keep you stay with that toxic person, it's gonna drag you down. It's gonna put you down constantly, and you won't be able to get yeah. out of that rut. And I, which I yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Peep. No, and it doesn't just apply to people. It applies to other types of like baggage. And things that you're holding on to that just anything you know it applies to anything it's hard in general anything yeah live experience if i've learned family, anything whatever. from yeah. talking to people on vr chat is that everyone's carrying a lot and some things it's important to keep with you just to like protect you going forward mm -hmm. but a lot mm -hmm. of it you don't need it's just so hard to let it go when it's all you've known in life mm -hmm. but it's like you have to make room for like what you're gonna find next but it's just hard to get to that point it's like there's a lot of shadow work i've been really looking at a shadow work lately <laughs> yeah Sorry, i'm kind of drunk and i drink two red bulls i'm really hyper <laughs> hey, hey, no 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 we need to be sorry i'm drunk too I, i'm i'm saying talking a lot because i'm very drunk <laughs> and i love having like stimulating conversation Same. which is why i haven't Tauruses, been drinking Tauruses drinks think much lately because tauruses think alike <laughs> yeah. it's all good tauruses think alike I really do. Yeah, and sadly, the person who hurt me was a Taurus too, <laughs> actually. But not all Tauruses oh, are like. Not all Tauruses are like. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sometimes it's just that person and whatever they're carrying. Like when I say toxic people, I don't like. I don't even like saying toxic people because it's it's almost not fair to like say they're toxic like they're bad because they're not. It's just like they they gotta work out their own stuff. And I'm no longer gonna like let that affect me. So like, I don't even like calling people toxic. Like, that's kind of mean, I guess, because I've been toxic at one point, and really all it was is I just I was letting what I was carrying like hurt everyone around me, and I had to like recognize that, and it was like quite difficult. It's very hard to sit and look at yourself and be like, like <laughs> maybe I'm the problem, <laughs> like. <laughs> You're never the problem. You're, you're, That's you're, the only Taylor Swift never, song never, I like. You're never the problem. But mm. yeah, it make and that makes total sense. That does make total sense. You know, it's not like it's not intentional to say, okay, you're cutting off someone because you're toxic. It it doesn't suit your uh, current state of mind. They could be, they could be very kind people, and cool people, but when you're interacting, they're, they're, they're um, I don't know, uh, stories. People or, can only meet you as far as they've met themselves. Maybe, yeah, it could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's limited. Maybe they're trying, you know, they try too much to, you know, and you're trying to too much interact or too much to relate it causes more damage to you vice versa maybe they're trying to relate too much to you and it causing you more harm or uh, i don't know it could be many things i'm not a psychiatrist or therapist it could be mm -hmm. there's no way to explain it it's just uh, it's uh, complicated I, we can only understand and control what's in our own heads and i think mm -hmm. that people struggle with that because Spot by the on. time someone's like, oh, they're toxic and I'm cutting it off, it's because it's... the person who's deciding that is because they've probably put a lot into trying to, like, fix that other person's problem when it, they didn't need to. Like, we're all responsible for our own. People pleaser. You're trying to, yes. you're trying to, pe oh, you're I... trying to please to, uh, uh, everyone else and not caring about you know, yourself. 
which is perfectly fine with me. You know, I care about other people and don't care about my personal health and stuff. It's just the the, the way it works is the way in general is. I don't know why it's it's a downfall for a toy for me. You know, I care too much. I want people to be happy. I don't want drama. I don't want pain and all that stuff. I just want to be happy around everyone, no matter what. You know. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I struggle yeah, with yeah. that too. It's like sometimes when people come to me with problems, something I've had to really work on is like recognizing when they just want to someone to listen versus when they want like advice mm-hmm. or solutions and because i'll just jump the gun and i just start trying to like give them solutions or like fix it and they're just like i just i'm just venting like i i don't want to so and it's so hard because i like i want to fix it so i have to be like i can't fix it like they exactly. need me to just sit here and just they need to mm-hmm. get it out and so i have to like especially when there's yeah. someone i care about i'm just like i want to fix it for coming from a taurus you can't fix any everyone you can't fix anything all you can do is become a listener which is a good thing however it's limited you know you can listen provide your input and advice but just try not to dig too deep into their problems because the next thing you know it's going to affect you badly in the long run you know i should take my own well, advice sometimes- but you know, for me, for the past, you know, I'm drinking, I'm alcoholic because of what happened in my past. But still, I, you know, mm-hmm. I care about other people. And, Who and listens to their own advice, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like that Alice in Wonderland song. <laughs> I like Alice to reference a lot of things. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, that's also yeah she, she says, I, I often give myself very good advice, but I rarely ever follow it. And I... That's a lesser known of the like little musical parts, but like every time I hear that, I'm just like, Dang. like sex. <laughs> I like to I, like super an- like overanalyze everything, like dive deep, like <laughs> and the stuff like that. It's like I am not a therapist either, or a psychologist, or a mental health professional, but um, it's a little bit of a hobby of mine considering I am actually mentally ill. So like you know. <laughs> good old bipolar so i've had an autism so i've had a deep dive just to try and understand myself but through that journey i have learned a lot (laughs) i have to be really careful when i'm talking to people sometimes they're like i don't know why i have like mood swings like i don't know why i'm this way but i don't feel like are you diagnosed with anything and they're like no and i'm like shut up i'm not a therapist i'm not going to tell them what i think i cannot tell them what i think they have because i i'm just like maybe you should talk to someone and in my head i'm like they've been talking about trains for 20 minutes i'm pretty sure they're autistic I like trains. <laughs> that's a joke but i like, <laughs> I like trains, trains. <laughs> My least autistic trait, though, least, is I like to put all of my food on one plate, and I like to let it touch. I let it all touch, and sometimes I mix it together. <laughs> That's a stereotype. With autistic people, they don't like their food touching. <laughs> I'm the same way. I don't care if it mix whatever. It's on one big plate. That's why I like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Pile it on. I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah. Recently, for lunch at work, I actually bought boxed uh stuffing because i love stuffing anyways that's my and i bought that i made a bunch of stuffing i made a bunch of mac and cheese and then i made sweet peas and then i put it in my little like container mm-hmm. and then by the time i ate it i just ended up just mixing it all up and i was like whoa this is actually really good <laughs> and my coworker was like you're a mad woman because i'm just mixing up she's like is that mac and cheese and stuffing and peas and I'm like, it's ash. i think i just made a casserole like <laughs> Yeah, you're not a mad woman. You just particular on the foods you eat. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat almost anything. Same. Like, do you have a food I'll you eat don't like? Anything? Um, no, actually, yeah. I've, I've tried uh, Indian food, Italian food, a Czech Republic food, a Mexican anything. Ooh. I eat anything that's on that tastes good. It's on my plate. I eat it. You know. I do too. I love trying new foods too. I'm not afraid as long as I know what it is, but it's very rare I will I can't think of anything I've ever the only thing I refused to eat once is my stepdad brought me two lollipops from Arizona because like candy bugs is a big thing like is a novelty thing in Arizona. Yeah, two lollipops. One had a grasshopper in it. 
I did eat that. But the other one had a scorpion in it, and I was too afraid to eat it because it just looked scary. And I was like, I don't want to eat a scorpion. But I will eat bugs. That sounds really weird. But, <laughs> like, if the apocalypse happened, I wouldn't be able to hunt because I really struggle with that concept. So I would probably just forage and eat bugs. I'm not going to lie. Oh! Are you okay? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I am. I'm actually sitting. No, I actually sat down earlier. I, I see oh, that. You kind of slumped over there for a second. <laughs> so, uh, but. That's for, for me, like, like you know, like. Who knows what the future holds for me, you know? From. Uh, I'm not gonna make well, my Well, it sounds bio. like your present's going pretty well. My what? Your present, like the current time in space. Uh, well, it's the. Well, I'm I'm very drunk. That's why you know. I, me drinking yeah. is the way I can be happy. You know, during the week I'm sober, mm -hmm. and it. You know, like I said, and like we said earlier, it's like. I I'm holding on to the past, you know, because I care care to better, but nothing I can do about that. You know, it's yeah, it is what it is. But you know, I'm happy now because I'm well, very know. drunk, and it's just, for me, it's like I I don't mean to be disrespectful in any way for you know the people, but you know I'm done with relationships. You know, I can't be hurt again. I don't want to get hurt again. I'm too old. No one wants to be with me anyway. So I was like, you know, I'm done. If I'm happy being single and drinking, great. You know, you know. Though I, you know, I'm lonely, but that's the way it is. Yeah. That's pretty exhausting after a while. Yeah, uh. because you know, because of what happened to me in the past with my best friend Walshi, but. You know, I had two relationships after that. You know, we weren't me and my other friend. We were never in an item with this long story. But mm -hmm. I find, I found it difficult at the time. You know, when I was about when I got friends. But I do have respect for them. We're still friends and everything, you know. But it was mm -hmm. very difficult. That's, I'm a, how do you say, Demi? Demi? I want to build the relationship. Demisexual? I want to build the connection mm -hmm. first before I open up. You know, I get that. And for me, from the past, you know, I opened up before, like way before getting to know the person, and I just fell for her instantly because she was a cool, good person. So I'm a hypocrite, I guess, <laughs> when it comes to that. But whatever, you know. No, you're a human being. I know. And it's a human like, nature. It's it is. It is. I've never dated anyone that I didn't have like a deep friendship with before, and as a Taurus. result, Taurus. Even yeah. though. I'm not with those people, and it hurt when we parted ways. I have very deep friendships with them, a lot of them still. Like, we still talk. We Bingo. were able to just, because at the end Bingo. of the day, our connection and our friendship was mm. bigger than that. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I can't be like, I don't hate all my exes. None of my exes were narcissists. None of that. Like, we were just growing, and we grew in different ways, and we had our own problems, and they didn't mesh. And we didn't know how to heal ourselves. So, you know, it's cool being in your 30s. Stuff just clicks. Uh, I my, if I had I been talking to you, like. I'm in my 40s. <laughs> but the thing is, I have one thing, too. I think this is my, the way I, I, the way I see it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, we, mm -hmm. in the us, we can't fix everyone. No one can but we're trying too hard to fix something that we can't fix. Yeah, and not paying attention to the things that we can fix, which is our own stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just easier to focus on other people. Right. Because <laughs> it's really scary sitting and looking at yourself and <laughs> how you fix that mess, you know? Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> it's like my house will be a disaster, and if I go to my friend's house and they need help cleaning up, I will deep clean their house i will love it i will be like i'm gonna organize like stuff and then i come home i've got dirty dishes i've got a full trash can like there's clothes all over my bedroom floor i'm just like mm, i'm gonna go to bed and i'm not gonna deal with this like <laughs> can't be bothered 
it's a labor of love is See, what I like. You know, my that's my love language. It's acts of yeah. service. See, for, I'm, <laughs> I'm in between reverse because I am. Ex I admit I am extremely disorganized. Okay, but from my point of view, I'm organized chaos because mm -hmm. you know I I know where everything is. If I clean this area up. And like later on, like, where was this? And like, oh, I don't remember where I put it. But if it's unorganized, organized chaos, I know exactly where it is, where to go. Boom, I could find it in a few seconds. I, this is the way I am. I admit it, I'm unorganized. I, you know, whatever. You know, it was. I'm like that too. The only time I have a problem with my messiness in my home is when there's like any kind of filth involved. That's the thing. It's like okay. I can do okay, with like okay. disorganized like stuff everywhere, but sometimes because mm -hmm. I also deal with like depression and stuff. Like most of the time, I try yeah. to keep my place clean. I've gotten a lot better, but then like things yeah. build up, and one day I look around and there's just like empty cans everywhere and dirty dishes and stuff like that. And I'm just like, Ugh. and then one day I'll get the, the manic energy to like clean it all up, and I'm like. Oh. That it, it really, people don't realize how bad it affects your mental health. That mm, happened um, beginning of this year because of what happened to me in the past. I don't know. Something just hit me randomly. I just said, you know what? I'm going to clean my room and organize to get my mind off things that, that what happened to me in the past. So one freaking Friday, I go to freaking home, didn't get shelves. Come home, clean up my your room, and reorganize into shelves. And like, you know what? That felt good. I'm gonna do it again. So tomorrow, the next day, I went to buy another pair of shelves. Did some more cleaning. It's a, it's just to keep the mind occupied and kind of push away, you know, if, all the sadness and. It's kind of in a way like when I clean my house, it feels like I'm cleaning my head. In a way, because Organizing I'll, I'll think about yeah. what Organizing I'm dealing with thoughts. while I'm cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it feels good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But other, other times, I just am in a complete depression. Nest and I'm like, oh my god, if someone walked in here, they would probably do a wellness check on me. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> wouldn't it be the first time? Like, <laughs> I was a, I went to clean one of my, my ex-girlfriends actually. The color of people who actually are they clairvoyant, whatever. They're actually, you know, I'll be playing randomly and they join me or something like that and says, Are you okay? They feel me. Like they're like they're like uh connected to you spiritually or something. Empath, yeah. I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. like I didn't even say anything or think of it and like all of a sudden you get like, Yes, I'm not you know, I don't I feel sad, et cetera, et cetera, you know. That's happened a, several times, you know, it's like Wow, you know. Maybe there is such thing as, as, you know, you know, uh, the spiritual, you know, connecting you with people to, for a reason. You know. Well, I mean, it's but been scientifically proven that, somewhat, like, yeah. there is, like, energy and things like that. Like, honestly, on yeah. a site, I, I, I can tell you, I can cite mm -hmm. it, but I just, my understanding is, you know, energy just exists in a lot of different ways. Like, um, like, uh, in Sedona, Arizona, there's this place yeah. called is Bell it Rock, and there? it, it's, yeah, I went on that. Have you been to? Because you know about like the energy vortex, and I was like, that sounds kind of like some hippie stuff. I'm from California, though. But when I went on that mountain, I wasn't even thinking about it, and like I got really, really just. I am an anxious person, anyways. But like the wave of. I I don't know how to describe it. I could only describe it as anxiety, but I don't know how. I just this feel, and I I totally forgot about like the vortexing and all we were just hiking the little mountain but i was like why do i feel this way like i'm like having a panic attack i'm like what the heck is going on and my friend's like oh well she was from Sedona. she's like well you're on bell rock like a lot of people experience and i'm like what are you talking about and then she like explained the whole vortex i'm like she's like that's really interesting like you didn't know and you're feeling it like that kind of like like because a lot of people come and they expect that, to feel uh, that I, i've been to say yeah it's like a considered rock. a quote-unquote energy yeah. vortex bell rock yeah and i was just i was just overwhelmed with this feeling and she's like it's it's interesting you didn't know anything about it and you're feeling that yeah. like and i was like oh well i mean because i i i'm i try to be down to earth about things like that like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i like it it's interesting i'm not going to tell you it's not real but i'm also like i don't i try not to get too into it mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So I just like to keep a healthy balance. But I was just so overwhelmed with this feeling, and I could, I still can't describe it to this day. I I could only describe it as anxiety, and I think it's because it scared me because I didn't know what I was feeling. I'm not sure if it was a bad feeling. I just felt, and I was like, whoa! Does... I had to stop and like yeah. catch my breath. I was like, this is a lot. <laughs> no way to. And apparently, a lot of people yeah. experience that. Yeah, there's no, no, there, there will be no explanation, explanation, you know, it's more of a, uh, each, cool each though. individual person experience their own life experience, their own way they interpret anything, you know, who knows. Like, I don't think I'm an empath per se, but I'm very good at picking up on cues despite being autistic to the point actually it's an autistic trait i'm very technical about being able to pick up on things like that um it's just little tells i but i don't know like, wow how did yeah. you know this i'm like I, it's because i pay attention to your mannerisms and the second something is off i'm gonna know something's mm-hmm. wrong like even the, the littlest change in someone that i see regularly like like if yeah. i'm like something's wrong and they're like how did you know and i'm like well normally like you're standing in today. You're sitting. You never sit in VR, yeah. and they're just like, okay, I'm like it's just the littlest things. I think that's <laughs> to break it down. It's silent, kind of what happened to me and my friend that my friend I got ties with at the time. This is 2021. Like when I bumped into that person in VR chat, and like at at that point of time. I literally felt like there was a higher power says we need we need to talk to this person they need someone and we hit it off and became you know, best friends over time here but then that's when I think it ties with but then it's like for me it's like since everything went down uh, got ties and etc it's like I'm asking myself and the higher power like what was the point is there a point why initially push me towards this person and they hurt me in the end is there is there an end game is there a reason you know like for me i can't there's no i don't have no ex- explanation i can't find come to a conclusion is there a reason why but maybe it's just the well, plan they some people come into your plan. life like seasons yeah you know m- maybe uh, they weren't meant a, to last a lifetime maybe maybe you know, but a lot of times, you know, like, like me, I'm drunk now, but it's like the thing is, I ask myself internally, like, is there a reason why I want an answer? I know I'll never get an answer, but you know, it's like, there's got to be a reason why I was, you know, spiritually pushed to that person. It's like, you know, am I meant to be broken right now? Am I? Am I meant to be a certain way by now? Like, you know. Yeah, that's what it is. Sometimes I think there's not a reason for anything. Um, and I I find comfort in that, if I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I don't want to offend anyone. Like, I am Me an either. atheist, but I totally respect religion. Um, but I think it's just having a reason is comforting to a lot of people. For mm-hmm. me... Yeah. The fact that things can just happen for no reason is mm-hmm. more comforting. Mm-hmm. Because if there's a reason, that means, like, whether it's good or bad, you did something to deserve it. Yeah. And sometimes things just happen. Sometimes good things just happen. Sometimes bad things mm-hmm. just happen. Sometimes you just meet people and it's really good and you take mm-hmm. what you can from that, even if it ends, and you Maybe, yeah. leave the rest. Maybe that was the reason. But I'm, I'm supposed to go to a birthday party, so I hate okay. to cut our conversation short because it's no, been no, so no. wonderful. Not at all. I really, really enjoyed this conversation. I thank you for that. You know, I'm not sure there's no hot to the restaurant, yeah. but enjoy. Have a good uh, night. Enjoy your birthday party. I'm gonna be on VR chat for a little bit while longer and get more drunk, but enjoy the <laughs> birthday party. I appreciate the conversation. It was very enlightening. Yeah, thank you. Likewise, it like put me in a good headspace for it. Not that I was in a bad one, but it just yeah, really improved my headspace even more. So, so if I see you again tonight, things. I'll see you. Of course, yeah. right on. I'm yeah. glad. I'm you glad. I would love to chat again sometime. Uh, you of too. Course. Take care. Take care.
<laughs> Bye. Bye, Yasumi. <laughs> Rob Roman's voice. Rob Roman. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby.
I appreciate everyone watching my videos. The hmm. interesting, like talking to a friend in depth. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, do I'm very drunk. I have so much vodka to drink. I'm just gonna pretty much just vibe, jump around, and chill for a little while longer. So. Only becomes a rapist when it starts flashing being dead. We're welcome um, to the church. Four oh, purses in the my fuck? hand. Get at it. What are you talking about? Okay, well, just explain, just explain, just explain. Just explain. Just explain. She said, no, don't worry. No, no, I gotta explain it. Don't worry about it. When you go to the therapist, don't worry. They give you 20 hours. And then you go to pay and your card to get your card to buy. So I'm gonna go say goodbye to the Discord I'm in. When you go to the Discord, <laughs> when, you, when you go to the therapist, they help you, and your card gets declined I will go watch a movie. at the end of the session. They turn it into the, they they go from the therapist into the rapist, and they make you feel worse. Wait, what so the... what's in your hands? <laughs> my my therapist so is lost. in my hands. What, what does that even mean? You, you, want, you want to hear them talk? They can talk. Sure. Sure, go ahead. I have noise suppression off. They can talk. You guys ready? Go ahead. Oh my god. What is that? Water? Is that it alcohol? Does not water. It does not water, bro. Bro's drinking. You could have just said alcohol is your therapist and we would have got the joke. Jesus fucking Christ, that took way too long. Holy shit. And that should have been. Holy that shit, that took. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby.
a VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. Cheese like a triple cheese, A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. Is that the one 
you were talking about? This biphasic sleep schedule what, where I go to sleep at like <laughs> when I get home from work for like four hours. That's what I need to for this. It's a trap. It really does sound like one, doesn't it? It's just like, I haven't so even funny. cashed in. Hello. You got a mop. <laughs> no, I did win at full though. Damn. I am the champion. I'm the more dangerous right now. <laughs> I put it on my wrist like you did, and it's bad. Oh, I'm asking because I'm going I, I, I need one oh, for for the head pad shaped puddle that hell. appears whenever I'm making out with them. Oh, no. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> <It's> easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not easy, what you talking about? That's not how you get into a woman's life. That scared me. That scared me. Uh huh. I don't have my yet because I didn't set it up. My heart rate went up. I thought that's what you were doing. I did not already go up. My heart rate is like, oh, I just laughed. I was in hard there. I was in hard there. She just sent me a video on that. I hope. You're scared. Just went straight up. I'm on the end of yeah. the wrist. My legs are And present all of her ass. She sent me the ass. I have a no video now. Yeah, <laughs> Stella, I don't know if you heard I it before. I can use a video if you want. It's a YouTube link. We're playing the spin that little it. game. It's like old dog owners yeah, take a drink. My mine, 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 And I explained the story to Winter. She goes, I have three of them. I've had to look at her. I've had to look at her. I've had to look at her. I've had to look at her.
Yeah, I'm just very drunk. Turn just chilling and vibing while drinking, that's all. Nothing big. Alright, right, I'm gonna go find my friends and wake them. Yeah, there we go. Father's treasure? What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, that works. Hey, have you seen my great grandfather's treasure? Hey, have you seen my great grandfather's treasure? Oh, damn. This man is afraid of drunk. Up there. I can't go. Hi, drunk. Nice to meet you. I'm drunk. Damn. This shit's fucked. How, how are you guys but doing? Why? How are you guys doing? Did he just block Damn me? It. Good, oh, where are you are? Up here. No, he's flying. Hmm. Nah. If you want to see real flying, look at that tiny motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, this guy is flying. Yo, fly. Do the thing. Do the thing. There we go. He's gone. You're gone. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, shit. How the fuck do you go out of bounds? I think he's on PC. Yo, let me copy that as it. No, 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 no. You should give me that avatar. Excuse me? You should give me that avatar. Why would I have to give it to you? I said you should. I should. There's gotta be a reason. Or could just be polite and just say, please, may I have it? 
this is a public alley, so if you don't want, you could say please. All is good. Where did they go? Oh, there's that flying guy. You may clone it. Thank you. All right, yeah. Okay, we're good. Weren't you talking earlier? Well, you have a good night. I don't know how to drink in that world for a little while. Oh. You guys have a good night. Oh, never mind. All right, you what too. Is there is another person. She was also fun. Oh no, she dipped. Where the, where'd everybody go that I know? Yo, it's that guy. Hey, you niggas know where the hose are? I'm looking for the hose right now, yes. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. Not it's not to this. Uh, you. I didn't show. Well, you were Why? so much so long. Everything is beautiful. Like this one, I just did a decent. Just like Naruto. I had to go through believe a little bit with this one. Believe like it. This one, I changed the metals. I, it's so I changed the hair. So. I changed the ears. I changed the tail. Um, I changed. Did you change the? Did you change the pattern for the tail too? With the stripe pattern? Okay. Or... The, 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 it was already like that, but it was a pain in okay. the ass to fucking, fucking do because it kept staying you back as dirty as shit. Um, you are. And then, oh, so God. if you boot my nose. <laughs>
Oh, whiskey. Has the little thing. Oh, there it, it used is. To be blue, and then there it is. Come on, give me a hug. Uh, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Come on. Come on. The eyes. Yeah, they. So, like, I was gonna do my other eyes, like the Naruto. It's the, the truth. The yeah. Not the lie. Not, not the. But I couldn't do that. It's the yeah. truth. So. What I did was I took the face. Um, you can pack me any time if you don't like. Come on, boy. Took eye textures and just grabbed it's the and truth. kind of cropped it in there. So the next yeah, thing I'm gonna do corner. is I'm gonna. Yeah, you so have I'm to hear it. Um, it's the truth. White area, it, it, I'm gonna make it truth. black, so it's like the black solar. You're amazing. You want to kind. Or whatever it is. Mm. Fuck off and don't, don't like to mention him. But yeah, I did all that today. Are we too loud? I, uh, no. He calls me the N word. That is no, no that is cap. That is that is cap. You call me that. You Yo, literally get yelled at close friends. by uh, Apple. You're close friends. You're fucking close fucking friends. So how could you? I just met you. How could you say that to me? Oh, I fucking love this song. A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. You're in the mix with...
A VIP Plus member has joined the lobby. You're in the mix with Rob Rob. You gotta turn it down a little bit more so we can talk. Oh. Hi. Hi. I, I'm okay. sorry. I to, I'm recording from my YouTube channel and I'm gonna get copyright struck possibly. It's all good. No, it's all, no. What did he do? I appreciate and thank everyone who subscribes to my channel and watches my videos. Feel free to share with others if you find my content entertaining. Though it's just me mainly drunk in VR chat. But it's a weekend, you know, it's the way I kind of Stuck out the past or, you know, wind down, forget, you know, my pains, and et cetera, et cetera, you know, my coping mechanism. But I'm going to drink for a little bit more longer and I'm going to go to bed, but thank you.
for watching my videos. Yo, have a good night.